How's it going everyone? Be Humbled here and welcome back to our Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. In the last episode we finally beat Cynthia. We became the champion ourselves. Um, I'm literally picking right off where we ended last time. So Batgirl and Neptune are unfortunately not with us anymore. So let's take their items and we're gonna have to put them in the PC and then death box. Oh, did I take the item for you? I did. All right, so... Technically, Neptune fainted first. We'll put Neptune. And then, unfortunately, Batgirl. I had to take the ball capsules off of you guys, too. But, uh, for the meantime, I guess we'll put... I guess we'll put Bowie and Anubis back on the team for now. I did at one point think about training uh, Devious up. I did evolve it into a Weavile, but it's it's a modest nature. It's like so bad of its attack nature that it's like it just didn't make sense and I needed stronger mons or bulkier mons for the Elite Four. So we're gonna keep them or keep devious off the team for now but i'm gonna put you in this box and that's it so uh-huh you did have the mystic water <laughs> oh well so we're back in our house let's go downstairs oh mom wants to say something be humble bear came looking for you a little while ago i don't know what it was about but he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship at snow point city you know how impatient is he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rome coming along? Uh, I believe it is. Let's see how many Pokemon we have registered. Uh, 147. So I think we literally just need Dialga and the, uh, the Lake Guardians. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go... There's... One way to get Dialga or see Dialga in this game. So I think you can only do that after you complete the Elite Four. So let's go check on that. And this is how it was in the original games too. So I'm just kind of going off of that. But if we go to the Elder's house, um, we should be able to read a book about the other um, exclusive legendary not in this game. It's an old book. You began reading it. Oh no, I'm not reading all this text. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Hello, Granny. Well, hello, you look well. I did some research of my own since that spot of trouble last time. Melkor not acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found. In the shrine, a book. It's quite old, see for yourself. There's Diaga, so you gotta talk to her and not just talk to the book. It reads Diaga, the Guardian Time. Seems that the, there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. And that's it. So we should have that now registered to our Pokedex. Yep. Uh, I believe the last ones we just need to get are... Yeah, have Manaphy. We just need to get the Lake Guardians. So we're going to do that in today's episode. Go get the Lake Guardians. Go catch them. Um, and then I think we can access the national decks um, from Professor Ruin. So let me just double check our bag really quick. Make sure we have Pokeballs as I skip over all of them. We have one Master Ball, which I might use on Mesprit because Mesprit might be annoying to catch as you guys may see in a little bit. Uh, we, we do have a decent amount of Pokeballs, but I'm going to go grab a little bit more and then we're going to go to each of the lakes, check out the dens and try to catch the legendary Pokemon. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're outside of the Valor Lake front here. Uh, we're gonna go catch Azel first. So let's go enter. It looks like the lake has magically repaired itself after being destroyed. Ooh, but the water looks so nice. Oh my gosh. It looks so much clearer than other lakes. Is there um, a path? Oh, there's grass over here. Um, I'm actually just gonna throw up a pell for now. I know there's a couple areas that we still haven't gotten encounters in, but eh, I'm not like really needing encounters at this very moment. I just want to go catch the legendary Pokemon. 
and thunder. Okay. Can buy that at the department store, but it's nice to have. If there's anything over here. Anything over here? No, it does not look like it. Alright, so let's go into the cavern now. And try catching the first lake spirits. There is Azulf. Imagine we find a shiny one. That'd be so cool. Keen. Oh, this music. Oh, such a throwback. Oh, this music's so good! It's level 50. I thought they were at level 60. Um... What is going to do the least amount of damage to you? Uh, quite honestly, going to Bronzong and doing a Psychic is probably going to do the least amount of damage. So let's do that, and then... should resist like most of your moves anyway. Yeah, so that took nothing. And we can use healing items now, since it's not, you know, a trainer battle or anything. We have psychic and extra extrasensory, interesting. Okay, we can do one more. Oh, maybe we can't do one more. Hmm, Ronzong, why'd you do that? What else I can hit you with? <laughs> Bronzong, you really had to lower its defenses, didn't you? I can't even, like, status it. Because we're going to just have to throw dust balls and see what happens. Quite honestly, this thing might like run out of moves before I even catch it. Mm, oh boy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we actually caught it! Wow, I used up like almost all my dust balls and uh, almost all my time- well, all my time balls actually. <laughs> Alright, uh, wow. Was not expecting actually for to catch this. Uh, what do I want to name an Azelf? Hmm. Kind of remind me of like... You got Elf in your name, and it's just past the holidays, so I'm going to name you Buddy, after Buddy the Elf. Uh, let's check Buddy's summary really quick. Naughty nature. Oh, that's, that's pretty bad. Oh my god, you literally had four PP left. Oh my gosh. I was throwing balls for a while there. Alright, Buddy is sent to a box. I'm gonna have to stock up on more Pokeballs, and I think what I'm gonna do for uh, Yuxi is I think I have a Thunder Wave TM. Do I? Do I have a Thunder Wave TM? A thunder. Shockwave. No. Okay, so what I might do, I think they sell them in the department store. I'm gonna grab Thunder Wave for a Bronzong. Just to make this a little easier. So I'm gonna do that quick and we'll be at the uh, Acuity Lakefront in a sec. Alright, we're here at the Acuity Lakefront. Let's go in. I did restock on Pokeballs and stuff, and apparently Thunder Wave is not in the department store. I thought it was. But apparently, it's not. So either I either haven't accessed it yet, or um, I need to find it in the underground to go get it. 
But let's do a quick savey save here. And let's hope that, uh, you know, Ronzon doesn't, you know, lower the special defense on turn one. Shiny? Nah, no shiny. God, this music's so good, though! Um, I'm actually gonna start by throwing our quick ball. Forgot to do that last time, but let's just see if for any reason we can get a quick ball catch. No way. Oh my god, I was about to say. No way. <laughs> Nothing crazy though. Okay, so yeah, let's go psychic. Amnesia. Okay, that actually is great. Because we can hit you a couple more times then. <laughs> wow, that does nothing. Wow, you are really woken up now. Okay. I might need to switch the Fultzel and do an Ice Beam. <laughs> Let's do that. Because <laughs> we also have a chance to freeze with Ice Beam. So let's see if we can get some of that luck with us. Because this thing is now at max plus six special defense. <laughs> uh, it probably could take a Surf, quite honestly, but I don't want to chance it. Let's see how much Ice Beam does. Wow, nothing. <laughs> okay. Your attacks still do quite a bit though. Holy crap. Um, alright, so we finally took this thing down enough. I think we can just start chucking some balls. Uh, where's my timer ball? Because I feel like those would be the best in this situation. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Yuxi. Don't be as elf. I mean, I do remember these Pokemon being kind of annoying to catch, even in the original games. I'm sure the catch rates are the same. I could look it up, but um, I don't feel like it. Yeah. Oh. Well, actually, let me actually switch the. Bronzong, like I mentioned before, that way we can take less uh, damage from its psychic attacks. So it's gonna do diddly squat. That did 11 HP. <laughs> so I think we're good to stall out some psychics and extra sensories for now. Hey, there we go. What was that, like four or five timer balls? So much better. <laughs> Swan and Atlas gain some levels. All right, all right. Uh, what do I want to name you? Come on, name you Big Brain. I know you're not as Big Brain as Calyrax, but you're still Big Brain. The all-knowing brain. All right, we got Bing Brain. Let's check you out real quick. Docile, okay, neutral nature. Uh, your special defense is much better than your friend. I think Azelf is more of an attacker anyway. Uh, all right. So send you to the box. And we can get out of here. So let's go ahead. Our last stop will be with uh, Lake. I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the town. Lake. It's not that Oh my god, I forgot what this lake is called. Oh no. Uh, but let's talk to mom first. 
I believe Mesprit is still a kind of a roaming Pokemon once you interact with it. So let's see. Let us see, let us see. Verity. Okay, it is Verity Lake Front. I was gonna say Verity, but then for some reason I thought we were meant to Verity. No idea. Alright, so let's go over here. And again, we already have our Lake Verity encounter. Um, alright. So I'm gonna save quick just in case this becomes like a battle, but I believe you're gonna take off. Kaloon! Yep. Mesprit flew off somewhere. Be humbled. That was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I asked you to do at the Canaclave Library. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is gone. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon in the lake, and you did. But it didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of evolution. Why would it? It's a mess for Azelf and Yuxi. They don't evolve. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepens the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Be humble. Why don't you chase after Mesfret? It seemed to me as if it wanted to play with you. If you were able... If you were to use the marking map on your app and the Poket, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Go on, be humble. I'm sure you'll will keep meeting countless Pokemon and people. These encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care. Uh, I like how he has to turn away. <laughs> so did that register Mesprit in my Pokedex? It did. Okay, so I don't technically have to go and catch it. Because I kind of want to save my mask roll for uh, Cresselia. But I don't think it really matters too much right now. I mean, I'm still doing Nuzlocke, so. I don't really know what the roaming Pokemon and Nuzlocke rules are. I might just not catch them, but. Oh, what are you standing out here for? Hey, let me take a look at your Pokedex. Awesome, you've seen every kind of Pokemon in Sinnoh. Have you shown this Pokedex to Professor Rowan yet? Not yet. Ah, be humbled. You've come to show me the progress in your Pokedex. Yes. Hmm. So you've seen 151 Pokemon. Bravo! You've recorded all the Pokemon of Sinnoh in your Pokedex. This will help immensely or immeasurably with my studies in Pokemon Evolution. Oh. Oh. Professor Oak. Greetings, Professor Owen. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kano. Of course, it means meeting new Pokemon. There's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. I should have expected as much from the world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke, where there are Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. You haven't get to see his face yet. Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. Ah, ver very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Ro Rowan lately. He's been exuberant in praise about a fan fan fantastic young trainer. I see you live up to that. No, you surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I had an errand to run for the Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring along the data for the National Pokedex. Since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with Nash mode. Yay! <laughs> After all, there are many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. Yes! So excited! We get to unlock all the Pokemon now in the underground. Oh, we get to go find swarms. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex, however. I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Have no fear, be humble. We'll get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, yes, I've heard bef heard that Ramanas Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. 
is it Romanus? Romanus? Romanus Park? Maybe? Romanus Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I've come to make certain that the system is operating properly. Be humble, you should make an effort to visit Romanus Park too. I'm 100% saying that name wrong, but whatever. Whoops. I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing both of you. Bye now. Off he goes, as busy as ever. Now be humbled. Every gift here for you as reward for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. Yay, Pokedex Radar! <laughs> That's the Pokemon Radar, just Pokey Radar for short. Use it, it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. I'd prepare to help that to help find I'd prepare that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex. But you took care of that. I'm sure it will be useful for your goal of filling the national Pokedex. Yes, we can shiny hat. <laughs> Don't know if I really be doing that in this game. Oh. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Hi, it's been a while. When I heard that you deleted the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean, great job. All the gym leaders are really happy for you too. But you know, we as gym leaders aren't gonna take this lying down. Losing to you was as rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride as those eight gym leaders. Now we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance with a Pokemon battle? We'll each be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me, Orberg Gym. Oh sweet, we got to do the gym leader with matches. I totally forgot about that. I like how Bronzon just like 100% clutched that. Um, your kid sister, I think she's at your house. Oh, the, yes, she gives you the information on Swarm, so if you talk to her every day, she'll show you where the daily Swarm is. Smooch him. I'm not missing much today. <laughs> uh, so that could be helpful if there's any routes that we haven't caught a uh, unique Pokemon on yet. But I think it's... I think they actually like, pop up like all over the place. Um, so we'll have to go check that out. But uh, I think to end off today's episode, we're gonna go finally, finally go to this, the boat that Barry's been wanting us to go to. So that should be down here. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Yes, I do. Aye, aye, aye. Let's set, 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 set sail. Do we get a boat animation? Yes. Oh, man. So excited! We get to go to a fight area! Oh, hey, be humble. What took you so long? I'm finding you a million Pokebucks. Listen up, I'm gonna become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Was that Buck? Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, I couldn't help over here on that. But the greatest trainer ever. That's gonna be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm gonna go to Volcano right now. You look puzzled. You don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you this. This is the battle zone, okay? At the far end is a volcano. Deep inside that volcano is supposed to be a treasure. So what's the big deal? I found the treasure first? It'll make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do. Be humble. And you too, stranger. That treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! That guy can't stay put, can he? Oh, anyways. Howdy, I'm Buck. If that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity dippity trainer? You should chase after the guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up at the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. Oh, man. So, we have this whole other area to explore. Ooh, there he is. I think we can also get the super rod here from that guy that's kind of creeping on the top left. So let's do that. After I grab these berries. So 
I can't wait to get in practice with the Procu Radar, because uh, I know in the other games, the grass patches stopped shaking after the first couple seconds, but in the remix, um, I finally got super odd, finally. Uh, they continuously shake, so hopefully that would make it so much easier, because that was what really tripped me up in the original games. Like, I could not memorize where the grass patches were once they stopped shaking. <laughs> But anyway, I think we're gonna call it a day here and we'll kind of go through the battle zone and continue with a little bit of the plot we have here. So thank you guys for watching and remember, stay kind and be humbled.